Hey guys and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to be explaining just how a Wi-Fi booster or repeater works, where to place it and how to get the best performance out of it. A Wi-Fi booster or repeater works by connecting to your existing Wi-Fi access point and then rebroadcasting it. So to help you find the best place for your Wi-Fi booster, I'm first going to give you a basic rundown on how they work because it's important for you to understand these concepts to get the most out of your booster. For this example, I'm going to assume that your Wi-Fi boost is only connecting and broadcasting a single 2.4 GHz connection. Your Wi-Fi booster actually connects to your existing wireless access point with whatever signal it can get and then rebroadcasts that wireless connection which is a totally separate Wi-Fi connection sometimes with the same Wi-Fi name and sometimes with a different name depending on the booster and what kind of configuration you want. That separate Wi-Fi connection is wirelessly bridged to whatever it's connecting to. Because of this, you might be in a situation where your laptop or phone or something can connect to your Wi-Fi booster with great signal, but your internet speed is terrible and in some cases may not even work. You might also experience more packet loss than you would normally get over Wi-Fi or bad latency. The solution for this is to place your Wi-Fi booster close enough to the main Wi-Fi access point to get a decent signal and then rebroadcast from there to extend your coverage. Let me illustrate this a bit for you. Say we have our ISP router downstairs and the Wi-Fi signal is good on the ground floor. But when you go upstairs, our phone struggles to connect and the speeds are terrible. Movies are buffering, web pages don't load properly, and sometimes your phone can't even pick up the Wi-Fi signal. In this case, putting a Wi-Fi booster upstairs isn't going to work because there is no signal to connect to. A better approach would be to find some kind of middle ground where the signals are okay and by putting the booster there you can effectively increase your Wi-Fi coverage to allow more connections upstairs. To find middle ground the best way is to download some kind of Wi-Fi analyzer on your phone and I'll show you how to do this later on. You'd need to walk around your house seeing where it drops off and where you'd get okay signal closest to where you want to boost from. To finish off this example I'm going to say I walked around for a bit, found good signal at the top of the stairs set up my booster there which then fixed the problem. This of course is just an example and real life can be very different. Things like the thickness of your walls can affect your Wi-Fi strength through your house or office, how many floors you need to go through, metal in the walls, interference from other appliances using the same frequency, there's a ton of different factors and getting around these can sometimes be extremely challenging. At the end of this video I'll give you a couple of solutions that can be better than Wi-Fi boosting and in up and coming videos I'll be exploring these too. Something else to think about is that every time you use a booster you're going to be losing a fair amount of bandwidth capacity to the particular access point that you're connecting to. At the main access point we might be getting a full 500 megabits per second but further up the line where you connect your booster we might not be getting as much. Wi-Fi unfortunately by its very nature is unreliable especially 2.4 gigahertz. It's very prone to interference, atmospheric conditions and obstructions. You will always get some level of packet loss, higher latency and speed drop offs using Wi-Fi and that's just how it is. That is why I strongly recommend using a cabled connection when playing online games. Check out my up and coming videos on how to crimp your own Ethernet cables. So for this video I'm going to be using an already configured Xiaomi Wi-Fi booster that I have lying around to boost the signal from my main router to another part of my house. See my video on how to configure this guy. So here I'm actually walking around my house now and I'm going to start using a Wi-Fi analyzer on my phone to scan the Wi-Fi signals around and see where I'm going to get good reception and where it's going to drop off a bit too much for my Wi-Fi booster to pick it up. So I'm using the Ubiquiti Wi-Fi Man app which is just a brilliant Wi-Fi analyzer and it's one that I've been using for many many years and it works really well so I would strongly recommend using that. Um, but feel free to use any one that you want to and uh, if it works, it works. So here on the app I've uh, actually clicked on the wireless tab and just look at how many Wi-Fi broadcasts there are around me, it is crazy. So not only am I getting a ton of interference from other people's access points, I'm also going to be struggling with bad reception if I put my booster too far away from my main Wi-Fi access point and it's just going to be a really really bad time. So I'm looking through, I'm walking around, you can see the Wi-Fi signal on TechZA which is my Wi-Fi broadcast on 2.4 gigahertz. It's busy bouncing around so it's jumping around around about minus 75 decibels to all the way up to around about 50 decibels. So you kind of want to get that a good signal would be kind of in the middle of that somewhere around about 60, 65, 50. That's, that's going to be a really good signal. Anything more than that and you're going to start getting some problems. 
um, and your speed is going to drop off. And because you have quite a small threshold at the much weaker signals, your Wi-Fi access point could easily disconnect and fluctuate a lot. So my best recommendation to you is look around your house and place your booster somewhere where you're getting around about no, let's say no more than minus 65 decibels on your Wi-Fi analyzer. There you're probably going to get the best signal and you and that, that'll be a fair distance away from your from your main router and you should be able to rebroadcast and increase your coverage by quite a lot. So here you can see me just plugging the wireless repeater in to the plug. I've already configured this and I do have another video up on my channel on how to configure this access point. And I just plug it in and it connects and yeah, that's pretty much all that you have to do once you've configured it and it'll just rebroadcast your main Wi-Fi router and whatever you've set up will then be what you can connect to here. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope it was informative and it helps you to get better reception or how to place your access point around your house. And stay tuned. Please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be pushing out loads of videos similar to this. And uh, leave a like on the video and I'll catch you in the next one.